नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम ऑल फॉर द मॉर्निंग सेशन सो वी हैव टेकन दिस असाइनमेंट स्टडी कैन वी नोटिस दैट सम और द अदर इमेजिनेशन इज गोइंग ऑन विद इन अस ऑल द टाइम देन ट्राई टू ऑब्जर्व द डिजायर द थॉट एंड द एक्सपेक्टेशन इन द इमेजिनेशन कैन वी सी दैट एट एवरी मोमेंट वी हैव सम और द अदर डिजायर व्हिच इज एसोसिएटेड विद अ फीलिंग some thought and some expectation from the outside can we see the three sources of your desires three conditionings which could be belief or some assumption sensations and the natural acceptance note that when our focus is largely outside the desires seem to be unlimited and linked to the outside but as our focus shift towards shift inwards we may be able to see that at the root we have only one desire to be happy in continuity and that this desire can be fulfilled from within with right understanding and right feeling what we had thought of as desires outside are all ultimately linked to our expectation of them leading to happiness within so we can discuss our observation thoughts doubts regarding this so this assignment we had taken yesterday and yesterday we started discussing the harmony in the self now let us recap all that we have discussed so far so we have been discussing basically whether happiness is our innate nature or some external influence so going by that we could see that if happiness is our innate nature then only it can be continuous else it cannot continue and generally it so happens that we are not able to ensure right understanding and right feeling within us so happiness does not become in become innate to us and we have to depend on something outside for happiness and there are two primary sources one is the sensation from the body so we keep on looking for favorable sensation from the body and the other is favorable feeling from others but with some clarity we are able to see that now we have to focus inside we have to work for right understanding right feeling so that happiness becomes our innate nature now having discussed that we discussed about human consciousness and we could see that right understanding relationship and physical facility all the three are required for us to lead a happy and prosperous life in continuity generally we get focus more on physical facilities because of which we miss out the feeling in relationship which are acceptable to us naturally and we also are not able to understand the reality as it is and then we are in problems and that's how uh, education helps us to move from animal consciousness to human consciousness then we discussed harmony in the human being and we could see that human being is coexistence of self and body self is a conscious entity body is a material entity and we discussed in detail the response of the self and the response of the body we could see that the body only has activity of recognizing and fulfilling while the self has activity of knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling so the role of education is to take us from assuming to knowing and this is what we are working for here and with that we could also have the vision for a human society where the human goal is fulfilled so you could see how personal transformation leads to societal transformation and uh, having discussed about the self and the body we could also see that self is the seer doer and experiencer or enjoyer the body is only an instrument and self is central to human existence having clarified that self is central to human existence we started discussing the harmony in the self and we detailed upon uh, the being of the self yesterday so we could get several points to observe and we are going to observe it more closely in exercise 1 and 2 now so we can see that within the self activities are going on and these activities make our imagination these activities are desire thought and expectation and they are going on all the time with that only we took this assignment we could also see that there are three sources of our imagination so we have to observe this we came across this proposal in the workshop we started looking at it we started analyzing it and now we have to observe it directly 
and the morning sessions are primarily meant to observe the reality as a pure observer. Um, observing the sources of imagination. Sometimes I get confused that whether it is my uh, feeling from the natural acceptance or whether it is my feeling or is it my sensation. Uh, sometimes uh, this becomes a very subtle kind of thing for me. Might be I am confused. So as long as I am not able to discern that whether it is my feeling or whether it is my sense, I am getting this from sensation. Actually, I am not able to practice well on the exercise too. So perhaps uh, am I yes. clear in my question? Yes. So let me clarify it further. So this is a common kind of confusion. Let me say a few things here where we are not able to have the clarity. So we are not able to make out whether it is my acceptance or natural acceptance. And that means whether it is my desire or my natural acceptance. We are not able to make out whether it is my desire or thought. Whether it is my feeling or thought. We are not able to make out whether it is thought or some information from outside in the form of sensation. Isn't it? We are not able to make out the difference between expectation and desire. We are not able to make out the difference between testing and feeling. So all those things might be there. And for that, we have to open up the meaning of all these words and then observe. So that's what we are here for, to observe and to make out. So let me say that these are words that we are using and we have to look into the meaning. So you observe completely openly the state of the self and try to make out what all is going on. Name them as alpha, beta, gamma, delta, whatever. And then try to see because the basic purpose is to see the natural acceptance. So we'll be able to see that the more clarity I have about the natural acceptance, what I really want to be, I have a better clarity of even these activities of desire, thought and expectation. So one way to go about is to define what desire, thought and expectation is. The second way is to open up and then use some more words to explain desire, thought and expectation. Right? So as we were mentioning yesterday, desire is what I want to be. Natural acceptance is what I really want to be. Right? So whenever you are trying to make out, find out whether it is to do with what you want to be or what you really want to be. Now, to distinguish between desire and natural acceptance, you can see that what you want to be may be colored by your preconditioning or sensation or something which is not universal, not continuous, not definite. It may vary from time to time. But what you really want to be is independent of all this. It is continuous, it is uh, definite, it is innate, it is universal. So this is something that you can observe. So we can make Bhai, out the difference between desire and natural acceptance. Ji. Bhaiya, if you, as you told, we open up. Uh, actually, uh, when we talk about hormonal, uh, hormone, hormones in our body, uh, then... I'm coming uh, to that. I'm coming to that. You know? so, okay, okay. Bhai. Bhai. So desire is what I want to be. Natural acceptance is what I really want to be. Thought is how to make it happen. And expectation is let it happen. We have this expectation that let it happen. Now going further, as we'll open up the diagram of the self also. Desire is imaging. I image. What do I image? So basically, I image a happy and prosperous life. But what I assign happiness to, what I assign prosperity to, what I assign life to, what I assign continuity to, that may be colored by so many things based on my assumptions which I have built up with time, getting information from outside. So I image, you know, so you'll see that we have some image and that image is always there with a feeling, feeling secure or insecure, feeling happy or unhappy, feeling comfortable or uncomfortable, feeling relationship or opposition, feeling harmonious or 
in disharmony. That is there always the feeling. So we can try to make out the feeling. So we can see the imaging part in our imagination. We can see the feeling. We can see what I want to be, all that. Thought is the analysis and the comparing part. So whatever I desire, I try to analyze what it essentially means, what it will comprise of, what all will make that desire full, getting fulfilled. So I analyze it. So for example, I want to have a happy and prosperous life, basically. This is my natural acceptance. Then to have this feeling of prosperity, I image myself being in a house of my own so that nobody bothers me and I feel secure there. So I have this feeling of security, this feeling of prosperity when I'm living in a house of my own. Then I analyze it further, how to make it happen, how to have a house of my own, how much time I can have this house, how to get the house, all that I analyze. And then I compare various options, taking loan from bank, taking loan from a friend, taking loan from parents or using my ancestral property to sell it off and then go for a new house. All those options are there with us. And then we compare. Now you see that with every option also, there is some feeling associated. If I have to sell my ancestral house, will it be okay? So I have a feeling there. So it's not that once the thought takes place and then the desire and then the something else, no. These are coupled. So if there is a feeling, then that is to do with the desire. The comparing or analyzing is to do with the thought. And then say that whatever feeling I have, I keep on testing it. The so feeling is there at the level of desire, but I keep on testing that feeling with which I feel comfortable or uncomfortable. And then I make some selection this way or that way. So within me, I keep on making selections. Even for analyzing, when I'm opening up various options, I'm making some selection. Should I go for it or should I not go for it? I'm making some selection. So this is also coupled. So whatever selection I'm doing, that is coupled with the choices of comparing. And I'm always having some testing there. Now, in this whole process, I'm also getting some sensation from outside. So you'll see that so many activities are taking place within us. And time to time, the object of imagination may get influenced by so many sources, something that emerges from inside, something that comes from outside. So I'm getting some sensation also in this whole process. I'm sitting in a room, right? The AC is not working, power has gone off. And then from there, I'm having some discomfort because of the sensation. That is triggering some other desire. If I have a house of my own, at least I will ensure that the power is all time there. And I should not be moving to a remote area where the power may not be there. Now that is getting coupled with this. So we have to observe precisely whether it is feeling or analyzing or comparing or testing or selecting or some sensation from the body, what it is that you have to make out. Is that clear? Uh, yeah, we are, till now it is clear to me, but I was talking that a hormonal imbalances in the body, does it come under a Sensation? See, hormonal imbalance in the body, as you said, is something to do with the body. Now, you may taste okay. that sensation or you may not taste that sensation. Now, if you are dictated by sensations, then you start feeling uncomfortable or comfortable because of the hormonal changes. But if you are able to observe the sensation as it is, then you associate the right meaning to it. You are able to see that this is something happening in my body and not in me. Hmm. Yeah, we are getting it, trying to work over it. Thank you. So we have to observe whether it is happening in the self. I analyze this whole thing because a study we have discussed, and this might be some, uh, there might be some lack of clarity regarding the usage of words. That's how I clarified it. And we can start observing it as it is. To observe my imagination, I see as a pure observer, I find that thoughts one after another, they come. In the beginning, nothing comes. Uh, after some time, thoughts come and continue to come, one after another. So as a pure observer, 
I have to see the first thought it comes, or I should neglect the first one, and it is it goes on like that, coming and going. So, <clears throat> and I also understand that that is a kind of thought. I cannot make out that whether it is desire, thought, or expectation. And I have seen also the second part <clears throat> that uh, I, when I uh, seek happiness, it is necessarily it is inside because I want I I depend on other others behavior. So that it depends on that, my happiness. But it will not happen every time. Sometime or one time it may happen. So it is inside definitely. And I am looking for that. I am trying for that. But I have major problem in differentiating between what is a thought, what is desire, and what is expectation. And what are the next steps? to be done with the exercise. Thank you. Yes, Bhaiya. So, few things here. Uh, one thing that the purpose of observing purely is to transform the self. And the transformation will take place at the level of feeling, not thought. So, you'll see yes. that there is no net outcome in observing the thought. Because if you try to observe the thought, ultimately you are working at the level of thought only and the feeling may get missed out. So you have to move from thought to feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So you have to observe the feeling, whether it is first thought or a you know, jumble of thoughts. That is not very important. You observe the feeling. And there is something... My, my question you... is... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, please tell. Uh, no. Suppose one thought comes, then how should I treat it? How should I... Uh, do with it, or at I should wait. The huh. In place yes, of judging feeling. the thought, look at the feeling huh. behind it. Huh. So while I am observing for my feeling, it depends on my past experience, the events which have happened earlier. So yes. automatically, it is related to that. That's yes. fine. It may have certain reasons. Now, in place of going into reasons, you may just ask yourself whether this uh, feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not. Mm -hmm. So then you start progressing. Because I do not have to go into all those details why I picked a position for this person, whether I was at fault or this person was at fault or somebody else was at fault. Why to go about all this? Because this will only trigger thoughts and they mm -hmm. will try to recollect past occurrences which may not be very useful for you, isn't hmm. it? You already have been suffering yes. so much because of the things that happened in the past. Why to open up that can and then just get caught up by that? No. I look at the feeling and then I look into the way to transform it. And that is by observing whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not. If not, then what is acceptable to me naturally? I look at it. Mm -hmm. And when I so, am able so to observe I... the naturally acceptable feeling, then I also get thoughts of participating in that relationship. In place of complaining about that relationship, earlier you see that we had the thought and we had grudges, pains, you know, we had complaints, and we are just trying to uh, move round and round with that sequence of thought. Now, in the moment I am able to observe the naturally acceptable feeling, in place of going into that domain of grudges and complaints, I start now having the thought of participating in that relationship. You will see a huge shift there. So it is like either you are on this side of the line or that side of the line. If you are not able to observe the naturally acceptable feeling, you are struggling with your own thoughts. The moment you are able to observe the naturally acceptable feeling, you are able to make out a participation now. What is going to be my role to ensure mutual happiness? What is going to be my role to develop the other self? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get it? Yes, yes. Yeah. And this is good that you make note that happiness, unless 
the source is inside it cannot be continuous nice and that okay. is what we are trying to ensure it does take time because you know it might not have that clarity and another thing is that may not have that priority also at times so if the life is going on smoothly we are just sailing through life and we are assuming that okay this will be more comfortable life but at times we get caught up by situations and then we again get serious about working for right understanding so that is also there yeah so one nice thing that is when yes yes one question little small yes. when thought is one sort of thought comes then what to suppose another thought comes in between how i should treat that that is i am not clear yet okay so you can do one thing as an exercise you can do this for 15 to 30 days also so you make out okay. the object of imagination or so to mm-hmm. say object of thought so you take mm-hmm. a notebook and a pen or a pencil and like you can make a kind of ray diagram you draw, you just make a small circle and i'm having a thought about this person then my thought goes from here to here then from here to here and so on you can try to make that it helps mm-hmm. because many times you are not clear mm-hmm. about the object of imagination and then try to see the link between two objects of imagination so for example i got reminded of my mother from there i got reminded of the old house from there i got reminded of my friend okay so the thought is moving migrating from one point to another now can you see the linkage between the two how come i got reminded of the mother how come from mother my thought went to house so there must be some feeling behind it so first of mm-hmm. all observe observe this object of imagination and then try to see the linkage between the two and that will help you make out the feeling what drives mm-hmm. me to think about my mother what drives me to think about my house what is that feeling inside so you can yeah, do this yeah. exercise meticulously you can take a notebook write it and you will see a lot of shift there now the randomness in the imagination will come down the clarity will go up okay let me try thank you nice here yeah. i just want to add one thing in this that i have conducted the session with a number of times with my students and myself also in my training also i i have found it you may correct me if it is uh, some other thing the moment you start observing your thought a moment comes when there is no thought thought blessedness is there and out of 50 students 43 confirmed it that when you start observing your thought consciously your thought goes away nothing comes in your brain yeah now this is also a common kind of noting that people share so let me say that is it the state of thoughtlessness or is it that i am not aware of the thought at that moment that i want to know that i want yeah yeah so you see that activity of thought is going on inside me so some realizing is going on sometimes i am clear sometimes i am not clear and sometimes when the two objects of imagination getting connected so the feeling is there i'm not able to exactly make out the analysis part so you know we can observe it more closely so you'll see that it is continuous it is going on inside me only that i become unaware at times so when you ask someone to observe the imagination or the thought then they say that nothing is happening what to observe you know and then with some time they say that okay i can observe certain things maybe sometimes they try to impose some thought also but when they try to observe it consistently after some time they are able to observe it naturally so we have to make out again whether it is absence of thought or is it absence of my observation of thought now uh, sir uh, say we have a desire and that desire is connected with uh, say some physical activity and uh, then it is quite naturally accept- acceptable that um, it 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 cannot be it cannot give us happiness and content 
but uh, we have also seen that in our society there are so many people who are doing some work unconditionally that sir uh, say social work they uh, they do not uh, depend on money that money is not important but they are doing the work for the society say some doctors they are doing day and night serving the people so in, in those cases in many th in many things we see that uh, their work is like a tapasya so in that case also can we say that they are seeking happiness from the external world some favorable feelings um, so that is something which uh, uh, which some things <clears throat> which i do not have clarity means physical facility we can easily understand that it cannot give us happiness but those things those works which gives us satisfaction so uh, that thing also cannot be connected with happiness in the meaning of happiness see i'll give a simple hint here for example you are cooking in the house for your family members now the same task could have multiple purposes like one is that offering affection care for my family members and cooking it So even though I do not get a very conducive feedback, I am still happy that okay they are not able to understand, but I am doing the right thing. Maybe I am cooking something which they may not like for the sake of taste, but it is good for their health. So they may complain, but still I feel that it is my responsibility to feed the right thing to my family members, and I am doing it. So I have this feeling of affection, care inside, and I am working with that. I may not get favorable feeling from outside. other purpose could be i am doing it so that people appreciate me what a delicious food i prepare right and how much i take care of them you see others in the family do not feel so responsible to the family members or if you look at the extended family no one cares so much for their children as i do this could be another purpose the third purpose is that when i cook i cook it cook it in such a way that it is the taste is favorable for me at least if i like spicy food i'll cook spicy food and make others also eat spicy food even though they are complaining so in the first scenario you are doing it out of your natural acceptance in the second scenario you are doing it for favorable feeling to get some appreciation some attention you know in the third scenario you are doing it for sensation for favorable taste since you like spicy food so you make everyone eat spicy food so the same task can be done with different different purposes so when if a doctor is serving the society what is the purpose is he doing it with a feeling of compassion care you know or is he doing it for name and fame or is he doing for something that he will get later on out of that in terms of physical facility so it's not the task that makes us happy it's the feeling behind the task that makes us happy so the same task could be done you know with different purposes and this is something that we can observe for ourselves also okay so so that is if any task is done with a feeling of right feeling and right understanding then it can lead to happiness isn't it so it is not it cannot be defined as an excitement yeah the happiness can continue but if it is not <laughs> so the happiness will not continue so even now like we might have feeling of affection and care at times and the happiness that we are getting out of it can continue it is not continuing but it can continue but if i am doing something to get attention or appreciation from outside <clears throat> some attention or appreciation from outside let me not continue some sensation from the body it will not continue okay sir i just would okay. like to share something from yesterday's observation as yesterday uh, you explained about the means you talked about the understanding of human being i just simply would like to share an incident like uh, there is there in my workplace i witnessed an unprecedented uh, incident and like earlier there was a tendency that i was unable to like forget all those things what happened in my workplace and every time like in previous sessions also we have discussed about the you have discussed and we have tried to explore that how 
criticism is making our uh, harmonious life uh, you know a troublesome uh, feeling every time and it's creating a disturbance to get the happiness from other activities so uh, like uh, few people uh, mainly the students they did something which was like out of the box uh, activity and we were really surprised that means this generation can think uh, in a different way and they can do anything like uh, like such kind of things so no, no, can like, you hint at it what was that out of box what is this out of box activity uh, sir it was something like uh, normally we think like if students are having any problem they usually talk with the faculty members or something like that or they will talk to the dean or maybe some uh, like higher authorities what they are doing they are like uh, bunking the classes and after that uh, in the outside they are saying that the faculty members are not uh, like uh, they are not ready to uh, take the class rather they are staying in a different way and a few students they are like uh, supposed to leave the campus without Uh, knowing anybody and after that making the charges that the warden uh, like provoked them uh, to just run away from the institution and see will manage so when i just uh, came to know about this incident i was really surprised like the students are thinking in this way like they are hardly 18 or 19 years old or maybe not so like i'm saying the earlier condition i was having a tendency that every time i will think uh, in this way only that how they can say that how they can do it but from yesterday session as you mentioned that desire is all about what we want and thought is how to get it and expectation is all about uh, let it happen or what yesterday when i heard about this i was really very much uh, surprised but i don't know how it's happened to me for the entire day i have not uh, for a months for a single time thought about it and i have taken the classes of that particular students also and when i came to know in the first half at uh, that time it was really shocking uh, that uh, things happened in this way uh, last night only and when i was taking the class i was i mean my behavior was neutral and uh, for entire day i have not i uh, think about this thing and surprisingly they are my mentees so the thing is that i would like to thank the usb session for uh, like um, uh, like bringing such kind of transformation and for the entire day i was i was not at all disturbed in the evening uh, in the evening of the uh, session i just simply asked that girl who is staying or residing here that once you will be available you come to me as we are staying here for a long time so inspection is supposed to happen and when she came my behavior was very neutral like a friend i was talking to her and after that i tried to understand ki what exactly happened and she was also surprised by the behavior of mine because earlier i was having a tendency used to get panic or like my behavior is something uh, that is like uh, like maybe it's a blunder or like i used to do or i used to exaggerate in a different way but yesterday it was too natural and i was thinking that how did you give such kind of statement and i was trying to understand her problem like a friend or maybe like a true mentor exactly and then i tried to sort it out or understand and from her perspective i just tried to explore that what exactly happened and how this is happened and i came to not know that few faculty members provoked them the couple and after hearing that again my uh, uh, like uh, response was very neutral and cool so i don't know how it's happened if you can just let me know that how this transformation is happening and simply i said okay but uh, before doing such kind of things you should at least talk to your parents that what you are doing is it correct or uh, you are free to do that because if anything will happen as you are residing here then definitely the warden as well as we named uh, and the particular department the school uh, everybody will be blamed in fact the top management also so as you are 18 plus you are free to take the decision 
but before that do counsel or talk with your parents now bhaiya i just would like to know that how this kind of miracle happened to me like uh, my behavior or <laughs> so, that thanks so you are calling it a miracle <laughs> but it's not a miracle no, it's only I'm really miracle. surprised <laughs> but uh, like we are exploring it's true and i am also exploring and the transformation is visible to me also but i just would know would like to know that how my uh, reaction was so uh, you know like calm and soothing yesterday after uh, like facing such kind of unprecedented incident like what so was the case the case that what you share like the clarity of desire thought and expectation might have helped you in addition you might have been exploring on this issue earlier also and something else might also have triggered some clarity in you like the clarity about the relationship the difference between acceptance and natural acceptance so you can be able to see that what children are doing they are doing it out of some infatuation some preconditioning some sensation right and yes, they are yes. unguided unguided it's not that uh, they are doing it intentionally secondly you can also be able to observe that the faculty who are misguiding them they are also doing it due to lack of competence it's not their intention so when we have this clarity we do not lose the feeling of relationship on either side isn't it and, and one thing i have is... observed one thing uh, one more thing i have observed that is like that faculty member is something he used to always pull the leg of others like if some someone is doing well and earlier uh, whenever like any kind of complain or any any kind of comments of his uh, or not only his two people are there exactly so when they used to say something i used to get irritated by their words like if they are saying are to others also, the yes 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 sir ha so uh, uh, let me say that a sustainable program could be that you organize self funded fdp there and have a kind of uh, series of such workshops Two to three, at least. Yes, well, and you have already the... mentioned, and I have talked to yeah. the management also. Actually, one ins inspection, two inspection are there, and after that, we are planning for that. Yes, I have already yes, discussed with. We struggle yes. with so many issues at times. This is just one issue, and you know? there could be a variety of issues, and those all yes. issues get sorted out very simply because people start working for right understanding and right feeling, and they are themselves able to uh, investigate into their conduct. and we do not have to pin quantity talk about that so that becomes a natural process of evolution in the institution maya i just want to uh, uh, yesterday when i was focusing on these and uh, this assignment uh, the second point uh, that what are the root causes of your desire so preconditioning and sensation i understand how is natural acceptance and desire related to natural acceptance uh i don't yeah. understand that can you please explain that you try to observe the desire at this moment so you have okay. to you have a desire to understand isn't it okay and do you naturally accept to understand or not so we naturally accept to understand the reality as it is this is our natural acceptance and with that we have a desire to understand so that's how it is related no we open the diagram of the cell and we can have all those so bhaiya bhaiya if like i am feeling very hot and i want to drink or eat something very cold that is related to sensation isn't it so yes. is that natural acceptance also the natural acceptance is to preserve the body so you do one experiment hai na sometime when you are feeling very hot you do not consume anything and nothing okay. like cold Okay. Okay. And then see what happens. So maybe you have a low BP. You start sweating, you know. Uh, okay. Maybe you start uh, uh, losing the balance of the body. So you okay. can see that if I do not consume anything, then I am losing on the part of health of my body. So my natural acceptance is to preserve the body. <clears throat> Now with that, I give a thought: how to preserve my body at this point of time, and my past okay. experiences. the test that i have from the past says that if i take something cold you know it will help me recover faster so i take okay. cold something cold okay. right but okay. then i start sneezing i 
maybe use cold drink or some ice cream and i start sneezing now then i am again getting this information from the body that okay it has helped me recover from low bp but it is okay. causing some other kind of problem in health mm -hmm. so okay. a better way could be like i rest for some time and take normal water in place of taking ice cream i can take some normal food but which is not very hot mm. or i can okay. use jaggery you know and then take water if you look at the common tradition in the summers uh, a common practice has been that whenever you go to somebody's house you will be offered jaggery and water so it but, serves to ensure okay. health in the body yeah okay but that is also a desire na bhaiya see uh, yeah. in taking a water no, from a matka uh, desire is to preserve the body desire yes. is to have a healthy body yeah yeah so uh, for uh, sensations and uh, i am not uh, saying that if i am doing from uh, sensation means i have to eat ice cream only but certainly i will not drink normal water i will drink a uh, other matka water or something even if i am drinking water but that desire of drinking something cold is due to sensation and not uh, the natural acceptance so this these two i couldn't you know uh, relate and you know yeah so let me again mention it so your natural acceptance is to have a healthy body yes okay theek hai now the desire you know could be out of some preconditioning or sensation or even natural acceptance yes so if it is dictated by some sensation then you may like to go for something which is giving more uh, pleasure from sensation so maybe you know, something now there again like you have this option whether i decide the what uh, something that i would to consume out of sensation or out of my natural acceptance for health if it is for sensation mere sensation i may go for something very cold which can give okay. me excitement at that point of time but if okay. it is with my natural acceptance the desire to preserve my body if it, if that is there as per my natural acceptance then i'll take something which does not harm my body so i'll take water from the pitcher i will use jaggery before taking water because my throat may be dry so if i take something soothing for the body and then consume water it may help me better so all those things i can decide uh, i just uh, whatever you just explain now we have that repetitive task uh, there initially it could be the natural acceptance and then later on it could be going for uh, the feelings and the sensation that you are carving so that part uh, really helped me by just now because i was able to see why the disturbance is coming even uh, even after understanding natural acceptance and, and every time that uh, awareness has to be there that is what is the crunch by i was able to see just now when you helped me um, uh, the other co explorer that what really is uh, the problem and unless we the purpose every time uh, repetitive task i think we always drift that why initially that was with natural acceptance and then it is shifting somewhere for that carving for the feelings or for the sensation so so that part really uh, uh, helped me i believe uh, for my further exploration so i was just trying to connect so that even the other co explorers can also understand that what really uh, why is that observation in continuity is to be there and until unless i am able to see my feelings behind i i do do go for the drift once again so that disharmony will creep in once again that's what i was able to see thank you very much nice bhaiya so nice so you'll see that natural acceptance is already there always there yes and you just have to pay attention to it yeah yeah that's what it's yes yes Indeed. paying attention is important yeah yesterday Indeed. also a uh, lot of tasks were uh, in the college where i was drifting and uh, that uh, disharmony was there and that was coming to my body also there a lot of sweat within so something uh, so i was uh, not able to figure out what really is happening with me because already two years i had spent but still uh, i am telling them in the words but uh, not able to see uh, myself then okay this today's morning this explanation of yours has really uh, helped me i believe yeah it would, would it help me i i would need to check for the exploration uh, bhai uh, i would like to know regarding a small uh, kids are concerned less than 10 years 
how that imagination process is going on in them because they are unable to differentiate good and bad or people of different levels and everything. Does it mean outside world doesn't have any influence on them or less number of thoughts or desires? That I would like to know because I need to guide my child also. So I am unable to guide it. For small children, you are saying? Yes, dear. Yes, Baya. So you see that small children also have the natural acceptance to be happy in continuity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the early stage of life, so the body is not fully developed. Uh, around the age of uh, ten, uh, nine, nine, less than 10 years. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the brain is growing, the body is also growing. And there's a lot of effect of the changes in the body on the imagination. So at that stage, you'll see that the primary source of their actions you know, would be the sensation that they get from the body. Yes. The natural acceptance is there, so they naturally accept the relationship. And since the body is not fully grown up, so they have some limitation of the sensation that they get from the body. right? Yes. So the organs are developing. So in that process, you can see that the self is there. The self has the same purpose, program, and potential, but the instrument is in the process of growing. The instrument yes. is not fully available. So they are trying to utilize the instrument as per the availability. And when it develops completely, then they are able to uh, go by their imagination completely. Now, they might have some sanskar to begin with, so that is there already in the self. And in the past nine or 10 years that they have been exposed to in the family, the environment or the school. So they start again getting conditioned. So you'll see like small children, they will be very naive. Okay, But once they start going to the school, then the peer group would be there, the society would be there. And then they start getting some assumptions. Earlier that assumptions might not be seen. Their deep sanskar would be visible like whether they are more attracted towards physical facility or towards relationship. Yeah. Are they trying to live more in isolation or they are trying to get more and more attention from outside? Those sanskars should be there. But yes. the assumption in the current uh, life, that would gradually enhance. So because the exposure is growing. So you see that the children you know, will not talk about money that much, but once yes. they start going to the school, they will start talking about money. They yes. will start talking about so many things in the outward world. So now they are getting more information from the body. Earlier, the body had not grown to that extent, so the information was less. Now yes. the information is coming in. Isn't it? Yes. So, few things here. Some deep preconditionings already are there. Or some deep sanskars, I will say, not preconditioning exactly. Sanskar would be made up of your preconditioning sensation or even natural acceptance. So some deep sanskars are already there in the self, with which the self is utilizing the body and instrument. The instrument has not grown fully, so they are not able to utilize the instrument fully. But as the instrument grows, they are able to utilize it better. And in this process, they are also getting some information from outside, with which some fresh assumptions are getting built up in the self. Okay. And with that, they are operating. Does it mean uh, they are uh, uh, very much influenced by outside, uh, outward uh, influences? Uh, that depends. Like if you have been giving them proper guidance, you know, mm. then they'll, they will not get influenced. Yeah. For example, if the parents say that, okay, whenever you feel bored, you take a mobile and watch uh, those short videos. Yeah. Then what we are doing? We are conditioning them. Yeah. Yeah. If we feel that whenever they are feeling isolated, or bored, then they should come and talk to us. They should can sit in our lap and chat with us. They will have a different kind of assumption. A yes. different kind of sanskar will be built up. So whether we are investing time for relationship or sensation, you know, or some physical facilities, right? So that will uh, that will uh, transform their imagination. So the guidance is important for uh, guidance day. is very important. Yeah. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you. Nice, Bhaiya.
uh, when we discussed about this desired thought and expectation, we say expectation is selecting testing and thoughts is analyzing and desire is feeling. So uh, the example uh, Smriti Didi was taking like uh, in a hot summer day, someone is getting a feeling to get the some ice cream or say you know, cold water. So that is you know, expectation part is there, like getting those things from the outside. And he's thinking whether you know like he will eat or say he will not eat or what will happen, like all these thoughts. And when it comes to feelings part, uh, what kind of feeling we will talk about? Means, uh, yes, of course, the source of feeling may be sensation or some kind of conditioning, but can we label uh, anything to that feeling? Primarily, if you see, when we are not very aware of the sensation and we are dictated, the feeling is primarily of discomfort. We are just feeling uncomfortable and that is driving our thought and expectation. We just feel uncomfortable and we become restless. Yeah, and that may, may also be feeling of excitation, maybe. Like, you know, looking at ice cream, uh, kids get a bit excited. So. Yeah, that is when yeah. the sensation yeah. comes to the self. Else, you know, they just start feeling uncomfortable and they are doing something or the other. Let's say, in the hot summer, you enter the house, right? And you just see what people are saying. Oh, switch on the AC, oh, switch on the fan. Oh, it's so hot summer, you know? They are saying so many things. They are so restless. They were in the sun earlier and now that they have entered the house, they become suddenly restless. So they are uttering something because they are uncomfortable inside. If they are able to observe the sensation, you know, then they will still be in comfort and then they will make the right selection. It's not that after come entering just the house, I'm going to switch on the AC and sit in front of it. Otherwise, the sudden change of temperature in the body will disturb my health. Will prepare me off for it. So the feeling is of discomfort. But when the awareness is there, we are not so, uh, we are not influenced by this kind of thing. We are able to see that, okay, the body is a physiochemical entity. The situation outside was also physiochemical. It will have some impact. But I have to keep this instrument fit to use. So I'll expose it to air or you know, some low temperature as per the need. I'll decide the need myself. I'll not become restless. Thank you. Thank you. Assuming the body, no, we become so restless out of sensation. If you are feeling hungry, we'll start shouting. If you feel hot, you know, we'll start craving for uh, such conducive atmosphere outside. Or even you know, shouting on people around us. Isn't it? I told you so many times that this AC is not working properly and you are just a miser person. You don't go for getting it uh, maintained you know, and doing this or that. And that may trigger some fight in the family <laughs> because of the you know, uh, unfavorable sensation. Why should the house family. have only one AC? Why not every house, every room have an AC? And why not this kind of AC, that kind of AC? You'll see this kind of scenario happening in the families. Bhaiya, namaste, namaste, Sabiko. Uh, Bhaiya, regarding this, uh, the same thing, actually, this has uh, triggered a lot of questions. Uh, that is, uh, you know, when we say sensation, sensation is something that which we get from outside, the happiness or whatever. Say, for example, the same example, uh, supposing we are taking about, uh, you know, having a cold drink or something. So this is a sensation. So it uh, can it be said so that a sensation cannot be uh, naturally accepted because I know that cold drink is not good for me when I'm feeling very hot. And so what is good for me is to have a glass of water, maybe, as you said, with jaggery. Uh, but then uh, also uh, can we say that uh, sometimes sensation can be naturally accepted or natural acceptance is something that which is good for my body. So sensation I'm getting from outside. So this the desire to have something from uh, because uh, that will satiate my thirst is something that comes through sensation. So uh, it cannot be naturally accepted, isn't it? Bhaiya? See, sensation is the information that I get from the body. It's not the sensation which is acceptable to us naturally or not. 
now there is some feeling behind it that okay. feeling we have to observe so if the feeling is to get happiness from sensation then it is not acceptable naturally but if the feeling is to ensure health in the body then it is acceptable naturally so whether i take cold drink or you know lukewarm water or pitcher water every thing that i consume will give some sensation to me whether i am relating that sensation to happiness or not is the matter of right understanding if i try to associate happiness to the sensation from outside then i will sometimes feel happy sometimes unhappy but if i have the feeling of self revelation in me and with that i am making selection so i will not get depressed or excited by the availability or not unavailability then i'll make the right selection even if the water is not there right then i may go and arrange for water otherwise i'll start feeling very uncomfortable we start shouting on people around us so it's not the sensation which is acceptable to us naturally or not it's the feeling associated with it the feeling of getting happiness and sensation is just an information that we get from the body we can discuss this further didi yes yes bhaiya yes 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 thank you bhaiya namaste namaste